Now let's turn our attention to a separable differential equation. Now this is the IVP because we have an initial condition right here. Let's go ahead and separate the variables. So your goal is to have uh, a function, let's call it a g of x with it dx is equal to another function of uh, y uh, times dy. So this is what we call a separable differential equation. Once we have that, then we can freely integrate both sides. So that's what I want to do with this differential equation right here. So we have dy dx is equal to 10 e to the 2x. Now, instead of writing um, minus y, e to the negative y, I'm going to write e to the negative y by laws of exponents. And now I can separate them. So I'm going to go ahead and move this one to the left-hand side by dividing it by e to the negative y and multiply both sides by dx. So you have dy divided by e to the negative y is equal to 10 e to the 2x dx. And now on the left-hand side, we can rewrite e to the negative y on the denominator is same as e to the y on the numerator times dy is equal to 10 e to the 2x dx. Now this is separated. So here you have a function of y, here you have a function of x, and you have dx and dy with their corresponding functions. Now we can go ahead and integrate. So here you're going to integrate respect to y. Here you're going to integrate respect to x. So when you integrate e to the y, respect to y, that will simply give you e to the y plus c, but hold on to plus c until the very end. Then this is equal to, on the right-hand side, when you integrate this, you're using this rule of integration if you have e to the sum a times x, where a is a real number. This integral is e to the a times x divided by a plus c. So that's what we're going to do here. Our a is 2. So you have 10 times e to the 2x divided by 2. Now we can put the integration constant plus c. Now let's, uh, now let's go ahead and add, um, solve for c from here. Now if you want, you could solve for the implicit, explicit solution by isolating y, or you can just use the initial condition to solve for c. So you have your final answer right away. I'm going to go ahead and apply this initial condition to solve for c. So this means that x, this is the x value and this is the y value. Plug them in. So we have e to the y is 1 is equal to 10 over 2. I can write that as a 5 e to the power of 2 times 0 plus c. And we know e to the 0 power, that's going to be 1. So on the left-hand side, you have e. On the right-hand side, you just have 5 plus c, which means c has to be e minus 5. So that's the value for c. And now we come back to our solution, which is right here, and plug in c in here. So our solution is e to the y is equal to 10 over 2, that's 5, e to the 2x. And we know c happens to be plus e minus 5. Now this is one way to write the answer. But let's go ahead and solve for the um, uh, explicit solution. So we solve for y. To solve for y, you're going to have to take natural log on both sides. So if you take natural log on both sides, on the left-hand side, you have y. And on the right-hand side, you have ln of 5 e to the 2x plus e minus 5. So there you have your solution explicitly written. Or you can write this y as a function of x.